Assalamu alaikum brother sister. So I was uh, checking my email the other day and somebody asked me a question. Uh, not through just email, but also somebody actually left a comment. They were asking me question to answer. Uh, by the way, dear brothers and sisters, I really appreciate your questions. I received tons of them. I'm still receiving it. If I'm not getting back to you right away, it doesn't mean I'm ignoring you. It's just that I don't have the time yet. But I promise I read all your questions, your email, your comments. So keep sending those emails. Keep sending me those questions. Because the more you ask me questions, the more then I can, inshallah, dig deep into this topic that we talk most of the time in this channel about the Maha, the end of time. By the way, if you are someone who is new to this channel, consider subscribing because we will be inshallah talking about these topics only about these topics uh, in this channel always so again if you are new to this channel if you have never met me i am talking about end of time now almost five years <laughs> subhanallah alhamdulillah i have uh, studied hadith i have uh, people who are guiding me alhamdulillah and so uh, if you want to uh, know more about me, let me know. I will definitely be able to answer you back. Um, so let's go and talk about the um, the questions that was sent to me. Uh, very good question. The first one I want to touch base on is this question. I think I can touch base on this very briefly. Uh, brother, he asked me this question. I mentioned that the end of time or the Mahdi Dajjal, these things will happen after WW3. And I said that we will not have any technology, the one we know today, during that time. So the brother, he asked me, what is the evidence that there will be, uh, there will not be any, there will, no, there will be no technology um, end of time. What is the evidence for it? So he asked me uh, this question. The answer, dear and sisters, is very simple. We find many hadiths. One of the hadith that we find that talks about the end of time, uh, bows and arrows, using bows and arrows to fight. And we find this hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he made it absolutely clear in that hadith where he said that you will be uh, fighting with bows and arrows of Ya'juj uh, and Ma'juj. Sayuqidul muslimuna min kisye ya'juja wa ma'juja wa nusabbihim wa atrasatihim sab'a sinin and this hadith is sahih ibn majah nawas bin shaman uh, his, he reported this hadith to us sayuqidul muslimuna min kisye ya'juja wa ma'juj basically means that the muslims will be using the bows and arrows of ya'juj and ma'juj for seven years why he will talk about bows and arrows gives us a clear indication that this technology will not exist otherwise he would have mentioned something else we take hadith literally unless it is proven otherwise that is the usul of hadith if you study the science of hadith you would know what i'm talking about if you did not study then uh, you need to study but this is the usul of hadith that we do not interpret a hadith metaphorically unless it is proven otherwise okay um, if you want to know more example on this i can definitely help you but uh, i'll uh, go to the next question the brother asked me this uh, very interesting question he said assalamu alaikum sheikh uh, does the khan get married oh, okay so he's asking question about the mahadi his marriage his wife this is the question again dear brothers and sisters keep sending me these questions okay keep emailing me my email address is um, down below end time 347 at gmail.com okay end time end time 347 at gmail.com now the question is whether mahadi will have uh, children wife family or is he going to be just one person after he's gone there is no more from his progeny this thing can easily be understood because we know the life the seerah of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. okay we know his his life his biography we study his biography one thing we find in his uh, biography is that we do not study the life 
of the children of Rasulullah the way he study the life of Sahaba. So in other words, Mahdi, he will resemble Rasulullah in many ways. His name, his uh, way of, uh, his personality, way of walking and a lot of things will be very similar to Rasulullah Okay. Why not then it will be similar when it comes to his children like Rasulullah It makes sense because he will resemble with Rasulullah in many ways. So in this case of having children, he will be the same. Yes, Rasulullah he had kids, children like Fatima radiallahu anha. We talked about that. But really there are not a lot of children that we study the life of. But we study the life of Abu Bakr, Umar, uh, Uthman, Ali ibn Abi Talib. So we study their life a lot more. But these are not their children. So when it comes to uh, the Mahdi, we do not have any hadith, one single hadith, dear brothers and sisters, that talks about his children. In fact, the hadith that I shared with you the other day, the hadith was very, very clear. Once the Mahdi will be here, okay, and he will rule, فَيَلْبَسُوا سَبْعَ سِنِينَ ثُمَّ يُتَوَفَّ وَيُصَلِّ عَلَيْهِ الْمُسْلِمُونَ Okay, the hadith is very, very clear that after the Mahdi will leave for seven years, other narration says nine years, he will then summa yuta wafa, then he will die. Not only that, the Muslims will pray over him. That is the end of the Mahdi. So the brother asked this question whether Mahdi will have family, relatives, obviously he will have relatives and family, but we have no evidence that he will have children that he will leave behind. Now, having said that though, this is not something I can guarantee or anyone can guarantee that the Mahdi will not have children or wife or family after he's gone. There's no one here can guarantee that because we do not know the future. We do not know the uh, Al al ghaib but there is all possibility that he will not leave behind any children. But again, that is something subjective. What I'm saying is what I'm saying. <laughs> now let's take a look at the other uh, question. He said, bro, I think you are wrong. You said around five minutes. Okay, he's talking about a, another a different video. Seven years of the Mahadi rule that will, don't uh, think that case, I'm pretty sure there is a hadith where Isa al will be praying behind the Mahdi. There is no doubt about that hadith that uh, Mahdi will lead Isa ibn Maryam, Prophet Jesus. We all know that hadith. So anyone who says Mahdi will not lead, then he is mistaken, he is wrong. Isa al will pray behind the Mahdi. But Isa al he will uh, leave after Mahdi uh, is is dead. So after Mahdi passed away, Isa Islam will still be on earth. He will be ruling over the world. Up in his time will come the Ajuj and Majuj. Allah will give Barakah. He will abolish Zizia and many other things. Um, so we know from those hadith that uh, Isa ibn Maryam he will be here. Um, but the Mahdi, when it comes to Mahdi family and his uh, progeny, there is no Hadith. But if you find anything authentic, you can let me know. I will be more than happy to learn from you. But what I know is that Isa ibn Maryam, he will be here. The Mahdi will not be here and the Mahdi and his family will not be here. And the rest, Allah alam. There are a few things that I also want to touch base on. Number one is going to be the uh, Euphrates River. Number two is the topic of Yajuj and Majuj. I explained that in my other video. The coming of the uh, Yajuj and Majuj will happen literally. Again, taking hadith literally, not metaphorically. If you are telling me the Yajuj and Majuj are the Chinese and the Russian, I would not accept it. At the same time, the Euphrates River, dear brothers and sisters, the Furat River, um, the situation of the river uh, wallahi, uh, is, is pretty bad. We do not know whether it will even exist in the next few years. 
because a lot of countries they are uh, putting a barrier uh, they're building dams around the around the reservoir where the you know the water from the river is coming so they're kind kind of like trying to trap the water so that they can use it for their own countries um, you know not sharing it with anybody else situation with the global warming is is getting pretty bad so um, anything can happen anytime we need to be prepared for it Allah alam what happens this is a matter of the ghaib assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh subscribe and leave a comment i will see you soon again assalamu alaikum